Hi, I'm RJ Baxter for Fairway Independent Mortgage. I hope you're having an awesome week. And I want to talk this week a little bit about the perception of a housing bubble right now. Are we in a bubble? There's a lot of people asking that question as real estate values continue to go up. It just seems like things are skyrocketing, especially in places like uh, the Denver metro area. A lot of mountain communities are going up a lot. So is this a bubble that we're experiencing right now? That's the question on a lot of people's minds. And more importantly, should you wait until the bubble bursts to buy a home? So first of all, uh, on the topic of the bubble, I, my personal opinion is I do not think this is a housing bubble. And here's why. It's just simple supply and demand. I've talked about this in other videos. There is just not enough supply for the amount of demand for housing, especially in a place like Colorado, where we have a net influx of people moving to the state every single month. Uh, thousands and thousands of people moving to Colorado. So that just increases the demand even more. Builders are not building fast enough to support all the demand. In fact, builders are cutting back a little bit because they can't fulfill all the orders because of supply chain problems, labor issues. So this is further leading to the problem. And we're actually seeing listing data that's actually worse, meaning less listings available uh, than a year ago at this time. So that means that the problem is just getting worse, which is going to further cause prices to go up. And the thing about it is one of the factors to look at when you're buying a home is affordability. So what is your monthly payment going to be? Because if you look at, for example, a $400,000 house at a, I'm just putting a number out there, let's say 4% interest rate, that might be the same exact payment as a $475,000 house with a 2.75 interest rate, which is more like where interest rates are now. So you can, you can buy more house right now because interest rates are low. So that kind of goes into my thoughts about whether it makes sense to wait to buy, to wait for the bubble to burst. So the first thing is, you know, there's a lot of people that forecast bubbles to burst for the markets to go down, you know, to wait to invest. And a lot of those people end up missing out on a lot of appreciation, a lot of profits, if you're talking about the stock market, because they're sitting on the sidelines waiting for the bubble to burst, and we just don't know if it's gonna burst. I mean, the Fed just came out with their, uh, their first policy statement uh, meeting this week, and they announced that they're gonna to continue to buy mortgage-backed securities at the same or higher levels for the foreseeable future. So that's gonna, that's gonna further support the housing industry. It's gonna keep interest rates down. And who knows when that's gonna end? I mean, many people think that with the Biden administration, we're gonna to continue to see even more stimulus, more um, government support of the economy, and that goes right into housing and real estate. So, you know, the idea that the bubble's gonna burst sometime here soon, I, I just, I do not see that that could, is gonna happen. And by waiting, you might end up with the same house now, let's say, you know, an, uh, I, I mean, these days a modest house even in Denver is 500,000. Um, if you've been shopping, you know what I'm talking about. So a $500,000 house, let's say, if that go house goes up 10%, which is not inconceivable over the next 12 months, that same house is gonna be 550,000 just in one year, even 7%, let's say, 535,000. So you've lost out on $35,000 worth of equity gain, not to mention if you're renting right now, you're, giving your, you're paying your landlord's mortgage payment. So if you're paying your mortgage payment, you're paying down that principal balance on your loan every month and getting a little bit more equity that way as well. So there's a lot of benefits there. Not only that, but let's say interest rates do go up at some point in the future, 12 months from now, 18, 24 months. So now that house that was 500,000 right now at a 2.75 interest rate, let's say you wait for the bubble to burst and it's two years from now, and that house is 550,000, but you have to pay 3.75. For an interest rate, your payment's going to be a lot higher on that house that you could have had now at a much lower payment before it went up more in, 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 in price. So those are just my thoughts on, you know, are we in a bubble? Now, no one has a crystal ball. No one knows for sure. But a lot of the economics behind what's going on suggests to me, at least, that we're not in a bubble and that it's, it's an excellent time to buy that affordability, believe it or not, is it, all, is, it, is it a great level um, 
because of the fact that we have such low interest rates, you have the same or better payment on a higher priced house now than you had just a couple years ago or even a year ago for that matter. So give me a call in the office, text me or email. I'd be happy to run the numbers for you. Uh, see if it makes sense right now and see what you can qualify for. And once again, my name is RJ Baxter, Fairway Independent Mortgage. Appreciate you guys watching and have a great rest of your day.